Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Gris. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Gris and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the return of the light, it is time. Brothers and sisters, yes, the flash of light will come and then we will know and see the portal and we know and understand that 140 million people will have vanished from the earth in the escape of the innocent. And the, the light that will hit us will transform us and make us ready for our destiny and purpose. The enemy will try to cover it up, most likely with a new weapon that we have not seen yet, an EMP weapon. But no matter how hard he will try, we will know the truth and we will sp speak for the truth, because that is the moment in time when our Lord and Savior, our Bridegroom, is returning to the world for the time to select his new apostles and disciples for the great harvest work of two and a half years, and then for 40 days, standing in Jerusalem for repentance, but Jerusalem will not repent, and then thereafter, Jerusalem will fall and Israel will fall and they will be taken into captivity and everything will begin. This is a moment in time when the light of the world will return to the earth. It is time. And we see the polarization in the world, west against east. <laughs> Sorry, we see that, uh, that North Korea has brought forth this powerful giant missile that is just only to to prepare the ground for this EMP attack. And it will come, brothers and sisters. Many brothers and sisters had this vision. It will come, and it will be to cover it up, but we will be standing there as witnesses for our Lord and Savior and our Bridegroom, and we will be witnessing for him, speaking for the truth of the kingdom of heaven that was revealed to us. A moment has come when this flash of light will come. It is time for the light of the world to return to the earth, and we must be standing ready in the nations to proclaim the goodness of the kingdom of God, to proclaim good versus evil, to proclaim that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has returned. Not for, not feet down on the Mount of Olives for the Battle of Armageddon, and also not yet or the rapture of the church that will come at the sixth scene. When the multitude closed and wide will have been gathered and they have made themselves ready in the blood of the Lamb. That is a different time when Jesus will come with Mount Zion. Now he is coming for this 40 days period. The sign of Jonah in Luke, Luke 21, 35, 36, the sign of Jonah, right at the time when that he mentions the sign of Jonah for the 40 days of Nineveh. He mentioned it just one verse before he said, and then sudden destruction will come onto them when they say peace and safety. So, brothers and sisters, I am looking forward to this. There will be a peace agreement between Russia and Ukraine. And when the whole world will see peace, peace and safety, then that EMP weapon will come. It is not because the because Russia wants to overtake the world. It is because the enemy will bring it forth to cover up the opening of the heavens, the portals that will come, because it is time. And it is because the Lord has removed his restraining hand so that evil will have his time. They must have its time. We read it in the book of Revelation. It has nothing to do with Russia or Ukraine, the West or the East. It is not about that. It is a plan of the Lord. The end times must be fulfilled so that the sleeping churches will wake up. He has tried everything before. He has sent voices, mouthpieces, messages, revelation, dreams and vision, and they are still sleeping. Now we have to ramp up a little bit. So they have to be shaken that they will wake up. And that is the reason why you see it all. Brothers and sisters, it is coming. The light is coming. And I'm waiting that the light will hit us all and transform us and make us ready for our glorious destiny and purpose here on earth. It is a glorious moment for the kingdom to stand in the nations, to stand before judges and kings and to speak for the truth. To tell them, yes, we know where the people have vanished to. They have gone to the third heaven. They are in the hand of the Father. There is no, re no reason to worry about them. Everything will be perfect, and at the end, 
they will return back with new Jerusalem and we will all be united again. That is the truth and nothing else will be the truth. And so we have to speak it forth. And when you see Jesus standing in Jerusalem, you also have to witness for him, saying, this is our Lord and Savior, our bridegroom, who is standing there in the midst of Jerusalem, asking the, the Jews for repentance. This is a moment in time, and it's coming right now. All is prepared. Look what North Korea did. Look what Russia is doing. Look what all this is doing. This is just only a cover-up, lies and deceit just to prepare the, the EMP attack that will, will overshadow what is going to happen. The opening of the portal, the mighty hand of the Lord be seen, the flash of light, the return of the light of the world to the earth, Jesus Christ is coming. Brothers and sisters, you need to be standing ready, standing ready to serve him as never before. Being a true son and daughter of the Most High, Come together in love, unity, and support. Be part of the remnant army of New Zion. If you're not yet a warrior, you have not yet sent me the sentence and have not placed your name before the throne of God, then do it now. The time is running out. We have most likely only 40 days before it could happen in Passover. This is a moment in time, brothers and sisters, that we were waiting for, that we were praying for. Now I'm getting so excited and I still have to go into the hospital for a few days. I don't care, because no matter what will happen, the Lord is coming. And that is the most important thing. The Lord is coming. And we will see him. We will meet him. We will be standing for him because we are counted worthy to do so. Because we never stop watching and we will understand what is going on in the world. I have seen videos that I would throw in the dustbin right away. But I watch them because it is a cover-up of the enemy, and we need to understand it. It is not about Russia. It is not even about the West against versus the East. It is all about God's plan, and God is in control. Brothers and sisters, your bridegroom is coming. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.